end this on a high note. Come on. Do I pre-move it or not? I could pre-move it, I guess, to be saucy. I'm not going to, though. If he doesn't play Sicilian, though... Yeah, he does. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's have some fun. Once again, you guys, if you're not... If you're, if you're not... If you're, if you're not familiar, uh, this part of the stream, it is sponsored by none other than G Fuel. So make sure to go to gfuel.com. Use code Hikaru. You can get up to 30% off. Now, if, if enough of you use that code, enough of you guys order um, G Fuel, uh, there is some potential that I could get my own flavor or maybe my own shaker or all these different things. So make, make sure to check it out. Use that code. My personal favorite is, I think PewDiePie is one. There's also like a, I think it's a guava one, if I'm not mistaken. And both of them are really good. Uh so make sure to uh, make sure to use that code when you have the opportunity. All right, you guys, let's keep going. This will go F five next move. Keep it simple. Hey, Joe Volga for the prime thing. Dan for the thirteen. Appreciate. It. Thank you so much. He's deep in the tank here. Go F5. I think we're going to start Dinia for the, fifth, for the uh, 15 months. He goes Bishop B5, we'll go King F8. Bishop D7 is also a move, but I want to be a little bit more extravagant with this. Let's go here, trade some bishops. I think we need a Canadia, Ca Canadia Boyer for the prime. Thank you so much. Let's go, Let's go here. I always have Knight F7. Probably I'll take on e4. I mean, he has to be a little bit careful this bishop on b5. It's a little bit misplaced in terms of the diagonal here. It's knight h3. That's a very strange move to me. I don't understand it. I guess he wants knight g5. Or... I guess I can take... Wait, wait. I can actually just take... This is really a weird position. A little bit confused by this. Uh, if I go f4... Let's go here. Knight f2. I think I'll play a6. Kick the bishop out. Step one. Probably I'll go f4 here. I don't know if it's right, but I'm going to do it. I always have knight g5, maybe g5, h6. You know, he plays a4, which I'm very happy to see because this now means that he can no longer castle to the queen side. Um, so now I probably will start to... I'll go for some king side expansion here because he can no longer go this way. He can only go this way. So I really don't like a4 because I thought white should maybe try to castle queen side and try to open up the king side. Whereas now he can't really do that anymore. Um, play queen a5. I'm actually not that concerned. I think I'm just going to go g5 here. And h5 maybe. I like my position here. I think I'm doing quite well. I mean, he can still try to castle queen side, I suppose. But I think with this pawn on a4, there are always going to be issues now for, for white to deal with. So I should be doing pretty well. Oh, yeah, I didn't castle, and he's probably not castling. I mean, but he can't really not castle, because this king is much more open in the center of the board. I can play knight g6 if I want to. I can also just play... You know what? I don't even care. I'm just going to go h5. I'm just going to sack and take. Just go for, go for a big attack on the king's side here. Yeah, who needs castling anyway, right? Castling is overrated. He goes to h3. I mean, again, he's trying to do something over here, but but like I said, I mean, I don't really know where he's going because I have knight h4. If he castles queen side, I'm always going to play b5 and rip it open at some point, uh, which, is, which is exactly why this pawn should be on a2 here because now this should be really, really good for me. I have queen b6 next move. Takes. Let's go here. Target the juicer. I have rook b8. Takes. Everything is coming. Everything's falling apart for uh Falling apart for white. No, no castling in title Tuesday all the way. I don't think I can do that and win the event. That's kind of memeing a little bit too hard, you guys. I, I don't think I can win. If if he castled, no fairy castled, but he, he castled, which is why he's going to get punished by Kaisa, the chess god, and lose the game. If he hadn't castled, he probably would have had good chances. This would be an amazing YouTube video, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I could do only castling queenside, maybe. That's a fun... Only castling queenside is hard, though, because castling queenside generally... It's very difficult, actually. Like, I guess kingside is too routine. You, you almost always castle kingside. Okay, let's go check. 
I'm gonna go over here. Oh, we can actually go King C2. I forgot. I didn't realize he was guarding. That was kind of stupid of me. Okay, let's just go back. I forgot that the rook was guard on h1. Okay, let's just go like let's just go like here. Why can't we be friends? I'm going to go uh, go here. Line up the battery now. I mean, a lot of problems for White to deal with in this position. He's got a very weak pawn structure over here, which is under a lot of pressure. He's also got... I mean, my queen and my rook are placed like golden gods here. Let's go here. Oh, he's king b3. Maybe rook c... Oh, rook c4 might just end the game even. Um, I think it does end the game. He has to take, and then I take, and then I hit this, and then I hit that as well. Now the rook and bishop are both under attack. He can't guard them both, and um, this should be winning. Although I did give him a glimmer of hope. Uh, wait, I did give him a slight glimmer of hope, which I shouldn't have. I mean, I can obviously take. Queen a4. How bizarre. How very, very bizarre indeed. The takes he has rook c2 and he's not just losing. Oh, let's just... I don't actually like this, but I'll take... Get the queen back here. Now I eat the pawn. I have knight, knight e1 next move. Eat the pawn. Let's go check. Get a golden pony. Now this is just winning. I just need to be a little bit careful not to allow something weird to happen, like some queen b7. Which is why I'll just go here. It's not even necessary, but um, it will just win the game. Go here. Go check and take the take here. Oh, I did blunder queen d. Yeah, that was a little bit careless of me. More like very careless. Go queen. Yeah, I've actually really misplayed this, but I'm going to win because I have queen d4. Take the check. The check, force the queens off, and just win the game. Very, very poorly played by me, but it's, it's going to be good enough to win. Go. Here, I think there are two checkmates. Yeah, it's just checkmated here. Checkmate. All right, we got the win in the game one. Uh, one up, one down. Pretty good. I think TF Robinson for the sub must. I mean, my technique was not good. I was the, the result was never really in doubt, but I could I should have been able to win that like thirty seconds sooner than I did. Um. Anyway, we got the dub. But we keep moving along, you guys. Thank you to friends, uh, friends, Aluko for the six months. Thank you so much, friends, Aluko. Thank you. New Tiger Clown for the 14 months. The, 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 the result is irrelevant when the effort was there. XQCL. Yeah, yeah, true. 11-11 repeat. I mean, we'll see. I, I don't think so, but we'll see. Anyway, we're on one out of one so far, so it's, pretty, it's definitely a good start. Did I get to 100 puzzles? No, we stopped at 70. I, I may or may not get back to puzzles today. I'm not sure. They are, they are pretty draining, and... Um, I, I kind of want to do a little bit of variety later as well. I'll probably probably play some Road 96. So, yeah. Take a look at Discord. What's What, what did I miss in Discord? Oh. Uh, what am I getting for lunch today? I don't know. I don't know. I should try 12 minutes. I heard about 12 minutes. Um, but yeah. Do winners play winners? How does those work? Yeah.
Uh, yeah, back to perfect 11 11. We'll see. Thank you to Rats of Brat for the tier, tier one. Thank you so much to Rats of Brat. Appreciate it. Thank you to Zol Zero for the six months. Thank you to Zol Zero. Have I seen any new films lately? Not really. No, I haven't. Um, Do I dream about chess? Not, not so much. No, actually, round two is starting. Okay, let's 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 go back to night F three. We'll keep it pretty pretty straightforward. Does chess improve the quality of red wine? I don't know what that means. This is where I should start playing red red wine. Okay, let's play knight F three. Um, I'll play D four this game. I I don't know what. Let's play a London system because it's such a bad opening. At, at least if I play a bad opening like the London, um, and things go wrong, then I can I, I can just blame the opening for not going eleven out of eleven. That's it's easy. Yeah, Queen C7 is a good move. I'm going to go 95. It's not the best move, but I'm going to do it anyway. Thank you to Ice Maker for the tier one, the, the nerdy version for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I know Bishop H4 is a move, but I'm just going to go Bishop D3 here. Okay. What's wrong with the London? I mean, it's relatively okay. It depends on the setup. Like this setup, I'm very happy with, by the way. I don't think this is one of the setups that's. Uh, that's that's dangerous um by black this is one of the ones that i think white actually gets gets really good chances in you know owenti for the 27 months thank you so much to owenti play bishop f2 you go c4 which i think is really bad really bad Ooh, I mean, this looks very dubious to me. And g5 looks strong. I think I'm going to just... Do I want to play... A, I think I should play a3 to stop this. Oh, I should have gone g5 first. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I gave him knight e4. Oh, maybe I have queen f3 first. He doesn't do it. Um, Good g5. Knight e4, I just take. Knight e7. I mean, queen h5 is kind of like caveman style. So I want I want to be a caveman. So I'm just going to go all in and just queen h6, h4, h5. Just like storm the gates. You have e4. I mean, there's knight f5, which is actually a pretty good move. And I can play knight f3, I guess. Knight h4. I think I'm going to go knight f3 and knight h4. Not, I'm not happy with my position, though. I don't, I don't like my position. Go. Rook B8 is a good move too. I'm just gonna go Knight H4 to attack though. He's gonna go G6. I'm gonna go like Queen E2, I guess. The good thing is that even though he's getting B4, he doesn't actually have a breakthrough here. Would I rather die of dehydration or starvation? Um, obviously, obviously dehydration because like I mean, there's nothing like having a great meal like. I don't know, like living without that great, nice big cheeseburger, um, to you know, is like, I don't know, that 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 would that would I, I don't know, if I had a nice big cheeseburger, I could live, but starvation would be far worse. Actually, why did I go queen d one? I was gonna go d one, and then I went to e two, which is pretty stupid. Takes, which is kind of weird too. I've misplayed this completely. I really don't like my position now. I guess I'll take and just castle, maybe. You can take and I take. I have rook a2. You also can go b3, which I'm not thrilled by. In general, I'm not thrilled by my position at all, no matter no matter how I slice it. I'll go h4. I can always take on f5. I can also play e4 at some point, I guess. Okay, he goes rook a8 here. Oops, sorry. I'm 
Okay, let's see. I can play e4 here. Uh, I can also play like knight h2, knight f5. Um, also, I think e4. I should almost certainly try to open up the center of the board here. Let's take. Sorry, you guys. One second. Let's take the rook here. Let's see. It goes rook b8 here. Um, logical move. Well, I can go knight d2, and now I think I start to get some play. I'm sad I missed the 11 out of 11. Well, I'm, I mean, hopefully you'll get to see history made today as well. Oh, that's a free pawn. That was a very poor move by my... A very, very poor move by my opponent. Because now he's going to have to trade queens so that rook a8 even. Very, very poor. Very, very poor. Um, yeah, I think rook a7 is just GG's. My, my man just completely collapsed here. Maybe not. He has bishop b5 to be fair. I can also play h5 here. No, then he has takes. What am I doing? Bishop f5, bishop c4. Actually, let's just go here. Knight a5 should be winning. I think this is just winning. Let's go here and rook b1. Here goes knight e3, logical move. I mean, I assume I'm winning this end game. Go here. Knight c4. Bishop d3 is a move. Knight c4 is also almost certainly winning. I think I'm just going to play the end game. Go here. Force a trade of bishops. Probably I shouldn't have done this, although it's, it's going to be good enough to win, I think. Good check. I think c5 should be winning. I take. Only problem is all my pawns are on 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 dark squares. Goes their logical move. I think I can just go go here to go bishop a five. He has to take. Go here. I think I go here and take, and now pretty routine. I go bishop g three. Hold the squares. It's a, it's a classic wooden shield. It's a, it's a weird wooden shield, but it's a winning wooden shield. Because now I go here, here, and I eat the juicers on the light squares. My bishop holds both both squares. So it's a, it's a very, very important move. All right. So let's keep, let's, keep, let's keep rolling along. Let's see who else is playing right now. Watch fair play chess. Uh, fair chess is white. So he's going to win this game. Rook g2, rook g8, mate threats coming in. Need a Bo Jenkins for the 10 months. Uh, back to back perfect scores. We'll see. Maybe. I'm going to do my best. I am going to do my best. Once again, you guys, this portion of the stream is sponsored by none other than the one and only G Fuel, you guys. Make sure to go to gfuel.com. Use code Hikaru. You can get up to 30% off on an assortment of flavors once again you probably wonder how i go 11 out of 11 in title tuesday the way that i do that is with g fuel fuel up before your stream and that's how you can keep that energy level high and uh, win your 750 sandals every single tuesday and sometimes make history along the way all right in the meantime um what other games are going on right now we have uh we have sergey Zhigalko himself he should be winning with knight d4 but still a little bit tricky so yeah Anyway, um, okay, knight e6 is played. King b5, king b5, king b5. No, now it's losing. King c8, a7, and, and white wins the game. 
Thank you to Lauren Knuckle for the 12 months. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. All right, so this one's over. Let's see, what else do we have? Um, let's see, what other games do we have going? Actually, only three games. So thank you to Crossy Man for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much to Crossy Man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're killing it? I mean, I mean it's only two, two rounds in. Long, long way to go. But so far, so good. Definitely can't complain. Current standings, uh, yeah, I mean, it's very early, very early. Uh, let's see, 480, actually, one thing that's important that I always like to take note of early in the event, though, is how many players are there. And there are only 482 players, so what that means is most likely the winning score will probably be will be low again. I mean, bar, barring someone going 11 out of 11 or anything. But uh, but I would say that realistically, I think 10, 10 is probably a winning score because of how how low the, how, how small the field is. Think of Zyle Titan for the nine months. Think of so much as Zyle Titan. Keep going with G6. It's not a good move, but it generally generally creates imbalances. And in Title Tuesday, you need to play bad chess to win. 10 out of 11 now seen as a low score. Yeah, I know, a low score. But I would say it's, it's important because it changes the strategy of how hard you push against some guys. Like, if I get a position that's a draw, that's, that's pretty drawn, in the old old format, like maybe like... um. In the old format, with say, uh, with say, seven hundred players, you're mu I'm much more likely to over push it because I know that ten and a half, ten and a half is going to be the winning score almost for sure. Um, so it really changes because now it's like if you get that drawn position, knowing there are only four hundred eighty-two players, if you get that drawn position, what you can do is you can kind of dial it back a little bit and know that the draw is completely fine. Um, I guess I'll go here. Why not? And maybe I'll play f four. I don't really know. It's an interesting try. Thank you so much to all ALS Sultan for the th for the 31 bucks. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'm gonna go C5. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to Alsu uh, Alsu Chess for the 31 bucks. Appreciate it. I guess I mean I assume that's your YouTube channel. So I'll try to check it out. But anyway, keep keep grinding, keep keep posting videos and, and all the best, man. So he plays N peasant. I take the bishop on G2. I don't really like this position, actually. I have to say for white. He does. Okay, so I take. I mean, do I take or not is also... I think I, I, think I do take. I might actually take the knight next move. Okay, he plays queen D5. So he actually wants this end game, which for whatever reason I assumed was just very bad. Maybe it's not, actually. I, I assume this end game was really bad for white. Maybe it's not. B1, uh, maybe it's not bad at all. This might be a big mistake by me to allow this. I guess I'll go here and force him to trade. You need a turnip swagger for the five gifteds. Appreciate it. Thank you so much to turnip. Um, I kind of misplayed this. Oh, wow. He goes rook B1 anyway. Interesting. I guess I'll just... I can castle. I don't really want to take... He wants rook b7. I, I get his idea already. I think I'm just going to count. Oh, maybe he just wants it anyway. Let's just go here. If he wants it anyway, then so be it. And now he just play knight d1. He wants to go f4 to trap my bishop. Um, I think I'm just going to go d5 and bishop d6 probably. Not thrilled by my position, but it should be okay. Go here. Go here. Maybe a5, e5, c5. With c5, king c6, c4 maybe even. Go here. I like my position. Very, very nice position. His pawns are a little bit strange on the king side too. I can move my knight to h5. I think knight d7, e6 also makes a lot of sense with knight b6. Was I technically lost in the first game last week? Yes, I was completely lost in the first game last week. Yeah. Let's go here. I've got knight c4. He's playing this pretty well, actually. I don't like, I don't, I'm not in love with my position. I think I'll go here, maybe. Knight, G, knight c4, maybe. I, maybe I should have gone to e5. I don't actually. Whoa, thank you to Rajneesh Bardwaj for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much to Rajneesh. Um, I do not like my position at all here, I have to say. Maybe it at all is too strong of a word. Knight g4, I have rookie 6. I have knight f6, I have h6, knight e3, also there's some f6, h6. Not as bad as I thought it was initially. 
Then get rookie eight and a5. I'm probably completely fine. Also, f5 is lurking here too. Not so bad. Yeah, last week my toughest game was the first round. I was completely busted. Although I was losing to Bacro as well in a later round. I don't know what h5 does. I mean, I can obviously take. Wait a second. Though. Do I want to take is a question. I can also play f5 here. Knight e3, h6 takes, takes knight f5. Huh. Also go h6, which is kind of weird too. What do I want to do? So I, I actually am thinking too long as well. Let's take. Here to hit the knight, hit the bishop rather. He can't take, so I take. He has to take h7 and then I go rook g6. And I take. His knight is a little bit wayward here. His knight is kind of stranded on the rim. It's f4. Let's go f6. I mean, this looks very dubious somehow although i don't think i played this correctly no i definitely misplayed this yeah what am i doing i'm totally bungling this he's low on time though which kind of is important here let's go here be very careful here not to lose this See what he does. Ugh. <sighs> Why did I allow this? It was so bad. Let's go here. Takes with a bishop. I saw that. Wait a second. Wait a second. But he was signing rookie seven, which I also forgot was a move. Oh, well, this is getting a little bit tricky. Because now I have rook h6, he can't move the bishop. Wait, so that's a blunder, I think. That's a free pawn. So here I'm threatening bishop g3. Ah, I gave him that, which was stupid too. Oh, that was so bad of me. Yeah, now I'm just going to lose the game. So I put the rook on the wrong square. I had to put the rook back on, on somewhere else. Of course, he finds knight six. Now I'm just losing. I threw this game so hard. I mean, I have a check, I guess. Here, at least I get my knight developed, I guess. Yeah, this is not going the way I was hoping it would. Three six is also a very, very good move. Here. <gasps> oh, I slipped! Oh, I meant to go rook g1! I slipped! Oh my god, I just slipped. I just slipped! Oh my god. Oh, that's unbelievable. I just meant to go rook g1 and I slipped in my excitement. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, it's still a game though, wait. Oh my I get I get a miracle. Oh my gosh, I get a miracle. I get I get a miracle. <laughs> okay, let's check it, check. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we get it again. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, I in my yeah, I I, I meant to go rook g1. I'm like, I I guess because of my excitement, it's just it slipped right off. And I was just like, oh man. Thank you to Avi Ram for the tier one. Thank you so much to Avi Ram. Um you are so lucky, it's insane. Yes, it happens. Sometimes, you know, sometimes when you play good moves, the chess gods reward you, um, reward you other times. Thank you to Lol Lol Peach for the prime. Thank you so much to Lol Peach.
I will say, however, I think I've used, I, I feel like I've used up all my, all my luck for the day in this game. So I bet I better just play really good chess now for the rest of the way. Um, yeah, he was low on time. Yeah. There, there comes the voodoo chess. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, now, now I have to, I just, I feel like I really expended all my luck there. Um, good players are always lucky. Jose Araul Capablanca. Yeah. I was completely lost towards the end, but it doesn't matter because we got the dub. It does not matter. It does not matter. Sometimes you mouse up and you still win. That's how it goes. That's just how that's just how the cookie crumbles, as they say. How many sales for winning the tournament? First prize, I believe, is um seven hundred and fifty dollars. Seven hundred and fifty. Thank you to Deepon Opener for the 15 months. Thank you so much to Deepon Opener. Thank you to Enough for the nine months. Thank you so much to Enough. Break now. No, there's a break after round four. I had Rook H8 on move 58. Um, oh, I wait. What do you mean on 50? Oh, I, I had Rook H8 here. Oh, 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 wait. That's actually really bad that I didn't see that one. I guess I should have seen that, but whatever. Who cares? We get the dub. We get the dub. That's all that matters. You got Bilbaco for the 10 months. Thank you so much to Bilbaco. Thank you. All right. So next game should be starting in a second. We're on three out of three. Am I going to play Jump King again? I probably will play it again. Not, not Okay. We're playing Roberto. Roberto JBM. I forget what his... I think his style is very positional. So I should actually be more aggressive. Let's be more aggressive. He's, he's very positional. So I should be more aggressive with, e, with the King's Pawn opening. Oh, he does this one. This is actually really... I don't dubious is wrong. This is just kind of meh. Wait, I can't go bishop c4. Wait, wait a second. Somewhere I go knight g5. I don't remember this line exactly. I'm gonna go d4. I think I'm gonna play. I kind of want to do some kind of funky gambit here, but does it work? I want to do some kind of funky gambit, but you know what? It probably just doesn't work. So let's just be stable. Go here, probably bishop e3. Actually, I'm going to play bishop e3, yeah. Maybe just bishop e2. Maybe I'm, I might even just... You know what? Someone earlier said castle queen side. Someone earlier said castle queen side. I'm going to castle queen side for you guys in this game. Maybe to equal rope for the three months. I mean, I have two I have two ops. Um, clearly, Roberto doesn't play enough Valorant because if he did, he would know that the ops are, uh, are OP. Um, okay, it goes there. So let's go here. I'm going to play g4, g5. So here I have bishop g2, of course. Of course, this actually looks kind of really questionable in terms of how I've played this. We'll drop back. Don't listen to chat. It might backfire. Yeah, I mean, of course, it should backfire. He was bishop d6. Kind of a strange... I guess he wants bishop f4. Don't really understand the point behind that move. Unless he really he's really desperate to play bishop f4, apparently. Which I don't understand either. Let's go here. Target the diagonal. Classic wooden shield. Um, and I can play bishop h6, but I think I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go rook d3 because I have to be kind of careful about these b4 ideas here. But as long as my rook is on the third rank covering, I should be okay here. Yeah, maybe you want to stop f4 too. That's also true, but. I don't know. Because now I'm going to get h4, h5, and I'm, I'm actually going to get some kind of an attack here on the... He goes b4 anyway. Let's go c4. Wow, he's just going to sack material. Interesting. So I take... I didn't think this worked. I I, th I think I'm in time here. Takes... I don't... Be I really don't believe in this. Um, First of all, I can go bishop h6 and rook b3. Second of all, I can... I think I can actually just take the pawn. And I think I just go like rook b3, and I mean, it's... Okay, yeah, this is definitely not going to work. I think Roberto's actually, he's just, he's trying really hard to get some kind of, some kind of phantom attack here, and it's just not going to happen. Although maybe it's, maybe it's in his best, uh, its best interest to try and go for this, because like, if it works, it works, basically. Go here. Although he does have a3, maybe bishop a1. Okay, it does a3, so I go bishop a1. 
this bishop b4 i just trade and go here long term this should be winning for me um with the extra 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 op okay now i think if i go to b3 or d3 is a question i'm gonna go to b3 to hit the bishop and then i guess i go rook b1 still not 100 percent clear cut how winning this is but it feels like this should be winning only problem i have is my bishop if my bishop was on e3 this would be winning but the bishop is it's kind of walled by the pawn here, which is okay. But now that I think is a big mistake by Roberto because now my bishop's going to get out. And now, once my bishop gets out, I should just be winning. Big mistake, maybe being a little bit too strong, too strong wording, but he's trying to bring the queen over to the king's side. Again, this, this really should not be a big deal. As long as I'm smart about how I play this, it's actually not easy, though. It's not easy. Maybe I. I don't like g5, but I'm gonna play it. Stop this queen entry to the king side. I lose this every time it's white. It's not an easy position to play for me. Um, I just need to get the right. I need to get the right setup. I need. I need to get like the bishop to this square where where it guards everything, and it's a get of course a wooden shield. Versus like a quarter shield on, on, on C3. Like, okay, that's a logical move. But I think I can go here. He can't go bishop f4 because I have bishop d2. This is very close to being, uh, this is very close to being winning for me. We're not quite there yet, but it's very close now. Thank you to Inag for the 16, uh, what? Wait, did I miss something? Huh? Wait, Roberto thinks he has a fortress here? This is this should not be a fortress. Okay, he goes bishop b2. Th I mean, this really should not be a fortress. I guess theoretically it could be, but this does not look like a fortress to me. Let's see, so he's hitting d4. So here, I guess. Oh, I hung d4 now. Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh my gosh, I might actually not win this game. I'm I'm making a big mess out of this. Let's go h5. He's on d4. I guess I'll go. Go here. If I get h6. I think I'm winning. I think he has to take. Actually, I think it's the only move. If he doesn't take. I think he loses. Okay, he doesn't. Okay. Go here then. There, logical. Go here. Of course, that was stupid of me, too. Why did I do that? Here. I have King C. Okay, let's go. Here, I guess. Kind of running. Okay, it goes d4, which I think is a very bad move. I think if I take and go queen e5, I should be winning here. Okay, can go queen e5 with the mate threat. I also have this with the the sort of the mini pyramid of Jiza. Not a good game, but I'm gonna win. Yeah, not 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 a good game, but we're gonna win. Takes and takes. All right, you guys, we, we get the win four out of four. Not not a great start, I have to say. Not not a great start. Um, but again, we we do uh, we do we do get the win. We do get the win, which is really, I mean, the, the most important thing. All right, you guys, I'm gonna take a short break. Go use the restroom, and then we're gonna come back. And when we do, um, we will we will resume with round five of uh, of tit title Tuesday. So I'll be back in a few, you guys. Dum -dum -dum. All right, you guys. Thank you to rest in peace to the flying pig for the four months. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, we're back. Uh, what's going on? Are we on the break? We are officially on our six minute break. Um, you never answered, Hikaru. Did you ever go over any of GM Alexander Ivanov's games? I did. Wait, that wasn't six minutes. Thank you to Bucks Dewey for the pro. Wait, well, wait a second. That was not six. What the. Wait, did they change something, you guys? That was 100% not six minutes.
Okay, let's play C6 here. That was like that was like not six minutes. What was that? That was so weird. Good D5 here. Thank you to Sex Terminator for the tier one. Thank you so much to Sex Terminator. Okay, now this guy's very strong, by the way. Um Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe they changed something. Because that, that was not six minutes. Like I'm telling you guys. That was like that was like I mean, I, I ran ads, and that was like three minutes or something obscene. Okay, let's just go here and develop. I mean, that's just, it's unnerving. Unnerving, you guys, is what I would say. Very unnerving. All right, now we have A4, A6 included, which should be preferable for me. Let's take, okay, I'll play what? Knight D2, okay, I go, I guess I'll go E6 and takes, maybe. I have, uh, no, let's just be solid here. Go queen c7, prevent bishop f4, and then I'm going to go like knight e7, knight c6, I think. Although knight f6 is reasonable too. Thank you to Jack Water for the tier one. Appreciate it. Guess I'll go here and just castles. I mean, he wants c4, but I do have knight c6. I don't know if I love what he's doing. Probably he goes bishop c3 or bishop e3. Again, I think a4 he should not have played. I think a4 was a mistake. Um, let's just go here, I guess. Consolidate. And maybe I should have taken there, actually. That might have been a better move. A uh, pre-move pawn takes pawn. We'll see what he does. Thank you to Dr. Smith for the tier one. Now, I can obviously take here. This is a big question. Do I take or not take? I mean, I kind of feel like I should take, but I don't. It doesn't feel right somehow. Uh, but you know what I think? I, I think actually I should just take. Takes okay. I go rook d8, of course. Rooks are on the perfect ideal, ideally placed squares now for the invasion in the center of the board. I think my queen is well placed. Also, he goes queen b3, which I'm kind of surprised to see. That was not a move that I actually considered here. So, if I didn't consider it, I should trust my instincts that it's a bad move. Probably. Well, maybe what I did... Uh, maybe this isn't best. Oh, it goes d5. So, I'm very happy to see d5. Wait, do I... Knight, I assume I can just take and go knight c5. Oh, I gave him that, which I shouldn't have. Let's go here. But c5, I can still just take. It's starting to look very dubious for white. Sorry if I'm overusing dubious, but this is starting to look bad. I need to add a Edogawa account for the prime. The classical chess sucks for three months. Thank you so much. Yeah, classical chess is just not for me. It okay, plays rookie one. I mean, I, I know that I'm better here. I just have to be smart about how I play this. Bishop e5, I think, by the way, was just a, maybe a bad move. Actually, maybe not, because g3, I can just take. If I get bishop h2 or bishop f4, we're looking at a gigantic we're looking at a gigantic pony on c5 here. Okay, first of all, I think I check, and then I think I go here. I mean, I guess he goes. I actually don't know which way it's supposed to go. So here, let's pre-move the rook capture. Actually, I'll pre-move this capture. I mean, takes and queen h2 is very dangerous here. I think I'm close to winning. This this pony is just awesome on c5. Positionally, this should be close to lost for white. Go a5. Let's fix, the, fix all these weak pawns. I mean, this just looks so bad for white. This pony on um, this pony on e5 is is amazing. Or c5, I should say. Make a check. I think I just go queen e8 and queen a4. Even this just looks completely lost. And d6, I just move my queen up. This has all gone very very wrong for our, our Sandy Nesterov. This pony is just the beast from the east. Thank you, 2-5 bar for the five months. Thank you so much, 2-5 bar. I just eat the juicer. Again, just nothing you can do because my king is also in plenty of time to stop the pawn here. Just absolute disaster. So let's go here. Let's again, let's let's technically show you guys why this is winning. Let's go king f8 and and again, just nothing white can do. The pony is just awesome. Let's just go here, put the pony back in its place. Now I'll just run my king over, eat the pawn, and um, 
just GG's. Awesome pony. The pony is the is the best. All right, we got the win. We moved to five out of five. Um, pretty smooth game for the most part. Let's let's watch some other games. See what's happening here. Um, exotic princess versus fair chess on YouTube. No, my points. Oh, did the doubters lose again? Doubters lost all their points in Puzzle Rush. Now they lost all their points. Um, they're losing all their points again in uh in in, in Title Tuesday. Yeah, it's a bad. It's been a bad day for the doubters, right? Do I have any info with what happened with the tiebreak break? No, I might actually ask. Um, I might actually ask. So, yeah. Could I play Bishop takes D4 and move 18? Maybe. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, possibly. All right. What's going on here? So Exotic Princess, also known as Jobava, should be winning here with King F2. King F2 and Rook B5, Rook B7 should be a technical win for White. Okay. Maybe just King F3 here. Also, White can kind of outweigh Black as well. White can outweigh Rook D2. Yeah, and now there's D7 because you, you're, you're, you're out of moves. Yeah, Jobava wins the game. Nice win for Jobava. I think he also moves to five out of five, if I'm not mistaken. He does. Okay, so actually it's a it's a it's a star studded field. Look at all the players on five points. You have myself, you have uh, Vladimir Fedosev, you have Jobava Badur, and you have Parham Max Sudalu. So it's a stacked field. The the best players are at the top right now. Thank you to Flight Is My Life for the seven months. Thank you so much to Flight Is My Life. Appreciate it. Thank you. So yeah, 22 out of 22, maybe. Thank you to Puantastic. Thank you so much to Puantastic. Once again, to the 10,000 of you guys who are watching, if you do happen to have Amazon Prime to get those Prime deals and the free shipping or the expedited shipping um, and delivery, uh, if you didn't know, Amazon actually owns Twitch. So you can, you can connect your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and subscribe free to one channel every single month. Um, so instead of having to pay five bucks for a tier one sub, you can subscribe for free. So all you do is you take five bucks out of Jeff Bezos' pocket, his spacesuit pocket, and put it in the pocket of hardworking streamers. So make sure to use your, uh, use your primes when you have the chance. Thank you to Charlie92 for the three months. Thank you to BMNMCMXCVI for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. No, Fair Chess is, um, Fair Chess is not um, Artemi. Fair Chess is uh, Dimitri Andraken. Thank you to Ahidal for the Prime. Thank you so much to Ahidal. Thank you. Okay, a couple other people got there. What's there? There's Dennis Q on 5 out of 5 also. There's, there's Parhamov. There's uh, Konovets, Exotic Princess, Timofeyev, Zhigalko, Bigfish. So there are a lot of people on 5. Actually, not a lot of people objectively because it's only 8 people. So... Only eight people on five points with six more rounds to go, which is why I said that I think 10 points will probably win it unless someone goes insane. Thank you to Brain Send Burn for the Prime. Thank you to, thank you to Mankali Severn for the six months as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you to uh, Kagatai Bergi for the Prime. Thank you so much for the two months. Who is Big Fish? That is, um, that's, uh, uh, Big Fish is, um, Vladimir Fedosev. Why am I not participating in the new event of the Magnus Tour? Because I have some sponsor obligations at the same time. I'm going to be traveling outside the country, which is why I will probably not be streaming this weekend, most likely. Um, maybe I will actually, actually, I'll probably stream this weekend because I think I'm leaving on Sunday, Saturday or Sunday. I'm not sure when it was just, it was just booked like yesterday, but I'm going to be traveling out of the country for, for like a, for like a film shoot, a sponsor, sponsor related act. A sponsor related gig, so got I gotta gotta keep the sponsors happy, you guys. We need a tavern for the three months, need a father back for two months as well. Appreciate it. Thank you. 
I won't stream it all next week. It'll, I'll just be gone for like two days. Same as Detroit. I'll be gone for two days, and so I'll take two days off, and then, then we'll get back to usual. Oh, I'm gonna be in the new season of Narcos. Exactly. Of course, you guys. I'm I'm actually I, I'm 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 quitting streaming. And I'm becoming a full time actor. That's what I'm doing. All right. Anyway. Um. Okay. All right. Um. So I guess we're, we're still waiting for the next game to begin. Let me see when it's beginning. Actually, let me ask and find out what the deal is with um, what the deal is with uh, uh, with the breaks. Okay, let's go. Next game. Um, we're playing Jigalco. I'm gonna get back to the basics and play E4 again. I think it's I think I want something sharper against him because I can play I mean oh he plays I thought he played the other one. Okay, because this one. I'm gonna play more of my junk. I'm gonna play junky bunk with bishop d3. Normally I don't play junky bunk against someone of Jigalco's caliber, but maybe I'll find a way to make it work. Go D4. I could have played H3 too, I guess. I think this is okay for me because I think I have a D early D5 and Bishop A4 if he tries to take. I need a Crypto King for the two. Thing. I need a Blizzardy for the prime. Thanks so much for Blizzardy. Yeah, he goes E6, which I think he kind of actually had to do. But there's still his D5 here, which I'm kind of wondering about. It looks playable, but he just has Knight B8. A flattish position. Very flattish. How bold do I want to be? How bold is the question? I think I want to be bold. Let's go D5. Let's, let's be bold here. When in doubt, be bold. What's the saying? Uh, you, you, I Fortuna Fortis or something. Okay, let's go check. There's 97 I might even be able to take. Maybe I should have played knight d2 first. Okay, he goes knight d7, which actually I kind of thought he would do. Let's play h3. If he goes here, I actually think I might have g4, g5 even. This is getting very wild. g4, g5. I might have it. I might not. I really want to do something aggressive here, but it doesn't look quite right. I mean, maybe I should just... I don't want to play that. Let's think about it. So I can play g4, h4. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm, I'm thinking way too long as well for no reason. G4. I think I'm just going to castle. Play G4, Knight H4 here, I think. Let's go here. Probably he'll castle. Probably I'll take. I guess he can take if he wants. He's not going to. Of course, he does that. I'll take. I guess with the H pawn. I can obviously go C4 if I want to. I don't really love it, but I think I need to consolidate my structure here in the middle of the board. I guess I play knight c3. Maybe I go g5 at some moment, depending. I definitely want to put my knight on c3 here if I can. He's thinking for a long time, which actually is a good sign. Because it means that he's, he's a little bit unsure about all of this. Let's go here. The fact that he's thinking is a very, very good sign. Knight d7, I kind of expect that. I can play f4, I suppose. Very, this is getting very kind of double edge. I'm not thrilled by all of this, but you know, let's just do it. I'm gonna play knight c3 and bishop f4, I guess. Because bishop f6, I did not expect that move. Um, maybe I just go g5 and knight d2. Let's do it. I feel like his pieces are a little bit clumsy here somehow. Like, if I get knight d2, knight f3, I'm presuming that I can kind of unwind it because his knights are just a little bit misplaced. I feel like. Oh, they were misplaced, but he has something here that I didn't see. He, he doesn't take advantage of it. Okay. Um, 
Let's we'll play knight a. Actually, let's go knight a3 because now I get knight b5. I think he missed knight a3. I think he had to go knight c8, knight e7. I think that was actually a very interesting idea to get the knight here. Now I think it's a little bit too late. Okay, let's go. Okay, I just need to somehow finish my development. Knight b5 allows a4. So let's go here. I got bishop d3. I'm very close to being better. If I can unwind with like bishop d2, and if I could put my rook on e1 magically, I think I would be close to winning here. So, let's, okay, that's actually very reasonable. Reasonable idea by him. So here, maybe I'll go rook e1 next move. I also have knight b5. Very complicated, very hard to play. Hmm. It's a very good move by him. Go here. I don't know why I did that. That was a mistake, I think. Why did I do that? That was a stupid move by me. I just gave him this night before. <sighs> hmm. That was a mistake. Serious. Maybe maybe a losing mistake, in fact. Play a3. So I have to do this and hope. To do this, do. Wait, why did I do that? I guess I can just... Wait, maybe I can... A, because I have rook f2. I should be able to draw this. I, I mean, I really... I don't like my position here at all. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to play the safe line to make the draw, which makes a lot of sense. Or it should, it should be a draw. Although, actually, I'm not sure. Go here. Could have played b3 and rook b1. That's probably a simpler way to draw. There's a4. Okay, let's go here. And I have c5 and d6. Okay, now it's going to get wild because now I get d6, d7. I'm kind of surprised he did this. Now it's not an e now it's not a clear cut draw anymore. Go here. He goes f5. Logical move. Um, still probably a draw though. Okay, let's go here. Go here, put pressure on the pawn. Here. Maybe h5, g6 is an idea. I don't love it. Again, this probably is just a draw though. Okay, let's try something. I, again, if I lose, I lose. But how, how bad can it really be? Oh, I thought I had H. Ah, this isn't what I wanted. Go here. I'm going to win this game now, I think. Yeah, I've got G7. There we go. We got the win. We got the win, you guys. Six out of six. We keep rolling along. We keep the dream alive. Th thank you to Tommy Tidwell for the prime, Serial L for the prime, Druma Chu for the three, Sajik with her four, Mamone for the six. Thank you, thank you so also Serial L for the five bucks. Fortuna Eruditus Fave. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, six out of six. We're, we're trying to do it, you guys. The dream is alive. The dream is alive. The gradient step as well for the three months. Thank you to Abari Wan for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. So we're on six out of six. Um, very, very good. Let's watch a game between uh, Jobava and Exotic Princess. This looks like a win for somebody, but who? G5? Uh, H-pawn is too fast. No, Black's winning. King F4 and H4? H3? Yeah, Black's win. I think Black's winning here. 
Or wait, no, it's a it's a draw. Or is it? Wait. No, H2. Oh, and, and you have to push the juicer. Oh, ouch. 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 Nice technique. Yeah, nice technique from Joe Bava. Very nice technique. Maybe he doesn't know N peasant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, without N peasant or en passant, white's winning. Without en, pa en passant, white's winning. Okay, let's go, you guys. Round seven. Again, normally I would probably be solid and make a draw, but you know, at this point, it doesn't matter. I could lose five games and it wouldn't matter. You, you got to go for glory. Because I, again, I'm on six out of six. Let's play the. Uh, do I play the boot? I, why? I want a meme. How do I meme? No, let's not meme. Let's play the let's play D's Knights, the two knights tango, the D's Knights tango. Uh, let's go E6 here. I wanted to meme with the uh with the um I really wanted to meme there kind of. Let's go here. I wanted to meme with the uh Budapest Gambit, but like I don't know. I couldn't bring myself to do it. I'll either look like a genius or an idiot, one way or the other, which is always good. Just D5, interesting. I can take, I guess. I think just knight e7 is right though. I don't know. I'm going to play e5. It's probably wrong. I probably should trade and just castle. Okay, I'm going to play c5 here. If he takes, I take. He's probably going to play for f4 or something. So I think my knight needs to be on the right square here. I think my knight needs to be on d7 for this one. Now I go f5, of course. See what he does. If he takes, I take. Okay, I'll go here. I have bishop a6, of course. Headed for something very wild and complicated. I have bishop a6, maybe. Wait, maybe uh, maybe not. I can also take and play... In... I'm going to take and go knight f5 here. He surely will take with the knight. Go here. Knight g5, I figured I had some tricks. Knight f6, which is not right. I can also take and play knight e5, which... Let's do it. Again, This I'm forgetting. This is 3-1, so there's, there's going to be many more... Many more chances for complications here. So I can actually afford to use some time because this is this is this is very complicated. I have knight g4, I have knight c4. A uh, horse orgy. Yeah, we've got like the, the four ponies are all right next to each other, which is pretty funny. Thank you, Mr. Carson, for the uh, four 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 months. Thank you so much, Mr. Carson. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's a night delight. Yeah, yeah, it's it's very messy, very messy position. I mean, very complicated. How many other perfect title twos have there been? Zero. I need a fissure fissure for the four months. Yeah, I thought he might do that. Okay, so I take. I'm gonna take. I do have knight c four here as a move. Let me let me think about this for a minute. Knight c4, queen d5, knight e3. Takes, takes, queen b3, queen e7. Takes, takes, knight there. e7, I take, and I'm fine. Queen d5, knight. If I play the other knight to e3, and then I take, and then I take, I'm fine also. e7, I take, I'm fine. <sighs> Knights, this is actually very important that I use all my time here, because if I don't use my time, something could go wrong. I don't believe him. I don't believe him. Let's go for it. I don't believe him. Let's see. I, I don't believe him. We'll see. We'll see if he has something that I'm missing. I don't see it. I really don't see it. Okay, he does go queen d5, so I'm going to go... Oh, he can take with the bishop? Oh, shoot. You can take with a bishop. I forgot about that. F8, queen f8. You can take with the bishop. I forgot about that. Um, well, I guess I go here anyway. Okay, so I can take with the queen or the bishop. The question is, which one do I take? I think I take with the queen. Oh, he's got queen a8. Oh, he's got queen a8. 
Oh, does he have queen a8 here? I forgot completely about that. But it's actually very unclear because I have bishop e2, bishop d4. Thank you, appreciate it. My whole concept is wrong, because I, I missed this bishop f1 c4 idea. Is this not lost? I don't know what's going on here. It's very, very complicated. It's a very complicated position. He's also low on time. He's really deep in the tank also. On e7, I just take his queen. That, that's why this is very complicated. Okay, 18 seconds. Time is ticking, man. Let's see what he does. I mean, I think he has to play queen d6 or e7. Oh, okay, he does the, the, the other one. Okay, so I take... Takes. Now I can actually take, but I think I should just take. And take and go bishop d4. I mean, this is not clear at all. Here. Oh, he can promote. I threw it again. Or did I? Wait. Ah, oh, man. I think I threw this. Go here. Got no time. Okay, how do I do this? Let me think for a second. I can play C4 maybe. Go here. Oh, he's trying to go. Oh, he's trying to get his pawn to G5. I forgot he was doing that. Also a big mistake by me. Yeah, I threw this game. Or maybe... Let's go... Why did I do this? I still have B4, C3 maybe. Oh, wait, I've got no time either. Wait. I've, I've got to... I should not have gone H6 either. Wait, I... Yeah, I threw. Yeah, I threw that. I misplayed that. Yeah, I threw it. That was so bad. I I think I had um I had something. Well, let me let me pull that game up. I had I had something that I missed. Um, let me pull it up. Let me click, put the lines on. Uh bishop d4 was bishop takes b2 is wrong. You see from the lines. I should have just gone king f8, king e7. Or not? Wait. So takes bishop d4, king h1. Oh, and then bishop b2. The other order wins. That's how I do it. Yeah. If I do the other order, it's winning. If I do the other order with bishop d4 first, th then king h1, then takes, and, and then it's completely different because he doesn't get it. But let me let me go, let me even see the game. Is this actually losing? Because I bet this isn't losing. Is it? Maybe it is. Oh, I'm an oh I'm an idiot. I can go king f6. Oh man. Oh, I'm really an idiot. I can just go king f6. Oh, oh my gosh. And then I go king e5, and this is this is not this is not losing at all. This might even be winning for black. This this might even be winning because the problem is in the game. I let I let him get the king to e4. Oh, that is so bad because when I go here, he goes king e4, and that's the problem. So it's losing. If I go king f6, then oh, that's very bad. Because after king e5, I I think I win. Um, yeah.
Yeah, once I get the king to e5, I, I get d5 in. This is not losing. Can I even salvage it? Of course I can, because they're it's they're 11 rounds. They're 11 rounds. Thank you, Mason Returns. I need to behold my KP. Yeah, I forgot also about the pin. That was the other problem. I forgot about... I forgot that you could just push e7. Like, I calculated the line with bishop d4, and I forgot that you could go e7, e8. That was the big mistake. But that was very bad. King f6. It was so obvious, too. That's amazingly bad by me. But whatever. Let's let's keep moving along. Let's, let's, try to, let's try to keep winning. Again, 10 out of 11 is still not a big deal. Yeah. Yeah, he is banned on Leech for for flat-out cheating. But it's what it is. He wasn't cheating in that game, though. Uh, let's play knight f3 here. Let's go c3. Play bishop d3. I mean, my personal attitude, honestly, in regards to it, though, is that I think if you're banned on one site, you should just flat out be banned everywhere. Like, I don't think sites should... There should be any differ differentiation between them. Um, let's go h3 and d4 here. I should have just played d4 right away, but not a big deal. Um, so bishop g7, d4. Oh, he goes to e5. Okay. Hmm. Play b4 here. Uh, and castles in rookie one and d3. Thank you to Hendry JVT for the two months. Thank you so much. Why, why, would, a, why would an almost 2700 cheat online? That's beyond me. I don't know. I mean, I think it's pretty insane. But yeah. Goes d5. Wait, let's go d3. I can take and play rook d1 here. Should be fine. I don't know if I like d5. He wasted a tempo to go d6 and then wasted another tempo to go d5. Not, not great. But you guys, if, you, if you're talking about the game, not, nothing nothing was going on in that game. Uh, because if something was going on in that game, he wouldn't have played the line he did. Because as you saw from the engine evaluation, what, what was played was not right. Um, so, so, so like, don't, don't start saying random things. Okay, takes, takes. Okay, let's think. Knight g5, queen d1, rook d1. Yeah, okay, this looks, this looks fine. I just take, and he takes, and I go knight g5. And this should be good. It looks good, at least. Should be good. Yeah. I think to R2 for the prime. Okay, takes a pawn. I thought this should just be very pleasant for me after queen e2. Because bishop e6, I have knight g5. And a b5, I mean, there's always a4. This looks pretty ugly. I guess I'll go a4. I want bishop a3 maybe to line up something as well. Maybe I should have just gone knight d2. It plays a6, which I think I'm happy about. Or am I? Wait, knight a3, maybe? Actually, let's just go here. I think knight d4 might have been a very strong move there that he missed. He goes b5. I, I can't take, but I'm going to go here. I threaten this. I threaten that. This looks pretty bad for black. But maybe it's not lose. It's probably not losing or anything. Wait, wait what? Isn't that just free materials? He just blundered this. Okay, now I trade. I take. Of course I take. And now I assume what I want to do is I... I probably want to reroute my knight around if I can. Get it to like f3. He still has knight d4, which is still kind of oddly, strangely unclear. His h5. He's taking it too slow here. Because once my knight gets to f3, I think I'm just winning. Way too slow. He had to go knight d knight d4 or some kind of sack on b4. I guess I just go here, take the D file. Um, I guess I'll go H4. I don't know if it's necessary, but it's reasonable. Play G3, King G2. That doesn't threaten anything. G3. Okay, so now what I need to do is figure out how to get my light square bishop to a better square. I think what I'll do... This is actually quite tricky. I'm going to move my king. It's surprisingly tricky. He goes F6. Go here. Maybe I can put my queen on h3. My idea, at least. Go here. Rotate the queen around. Go 
Okay, now what I need to do is I need to reset. I need to get my knights to better squares, and eventually... My rooks are on both the open files. Okay, f5 I think is very sketchy. I'm going to play... Um, knight e2. f4. I can take, obviously, if I want to. Knight d4, I guess, and cd4, and d5, and... This looks bad. Maybe not losing. Go here and here. I have rook a7, I think. Go here. Go e5. I'm making this a little bit messy. Like, very messy, potentially. But as long as I get this pawn, I have two pawns gliding up the center of the board here. This should be winning. There. Okay, let's go. I think I'm going to sack here, probably. Or, no, actually, let's just push the pawns. I get e6, e7 should be winning. Okay, I think just... Wait, he's got knight d4 or something? Okay, whatever, I still should do it. Go here. He has to go back. This has to be winning somehow for me. It's actually very tricky. Okay, let's go here. Need rook d5 maybe? I'm really actually trying hard to lose this game now. This is unbelievably bad by me. <sighs> okay, let's see. What can I do? Let's go here. I just blundered knight d4 also. It's unreal. Here, I guess I have bishop d1 maybe. I should be okay here if I'm smart about this. Okay, let's check. Is I have king d5 maybe? Here. Blundered that too, of course. Or wait, did I? Wait, 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 wait. Did I blunder that? That's just a draw. Okay. Here. How do I do this? I give knight d4 and it's just a draw. This is so bad by me. Oh, it's mate. It's mate. Oh, wow. Oh, very bad. Very bad. But so when thank you to the Chris Peck for the prime. Very lucky checkmate. That's a kind of a very weird way to set it up, but it's checkmate. Not good. Not good. But we got the win. Got the win. Move to seven out of eight. See what's going on. Let's watch Parham's game. Or wait, where's this game? Okay, so Parham actually lost. He lost to Big Fish. So I'm gonna have to play. Um, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to beat Big Fish basically, probably with the black pieces too, which is not the pairing that I want. Um, it's gonna be rough. There should be a six minute break, but now I'm not actually sure. Let, let, let me check and see. Um, Oh, okay. There, there's going to be a six-minute break now after this round. So, all right, guys. I'm going to go use the restroom. I'll be right back. We'll keep rolling along. All right, everyone. So, we get that win. We're on seven out of eight. I think we have to play Big Fish, right? Next round. Looks like it's going to be Big Fish. We'll be the next big pairing. Thank you to Boucher for the three. Thank you to Windswept X for the two. Um, oh, and I, uh, Ch Chess Wizard, I never, said, I never said anything about this game, but, but I will say that he was caught cheating on Lee Chess. That's not really up for debate as far as I know um but but anyway uh that's neither here nor there because obviously this game is completely legit all right um 
Okay, so we're on the break, I think. Or wait, we're not on the break? Oh no, we are on the break, it looks like. Um all right, we're gonna play, be playing Big Fish. Um uh playing Big Fish. You saying you don't like classical chess scares me while streaming never compete for the world championship title. I think you guys don't understand the economics of streaming, first of all. And secondly, I'm not a big fan of classical chess. I've said it before. I think it has its place, but it's not something that's gonna draw on sponsors. It's not something that frankly I think is gonna be relevant outside of the world championship cycle down the road. Because most people, uh, if you're if you're trying to bring more money into the game and have more opportunities, Rapid and Blitz are what are going to draw the eyeballs. That's all that needs to be said. Um, all right, Jump King after Road Fifty Six. Nah, probably not. Probably not today. But anyway. Hmm. All right, so, um, yeah, all the games are over. I think we're just on this break right now. Title Tuesday is open. Um, yeah, right now it's open. It depends how I do. But like I said, you guys, if you look at the standings, it's what I said. Look at these standings. The number of people can even get to 10 points is already pretty low. Like, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight of us on seven. One, of, one person on seven and a half. So already, the odds of someone getting to 10 are pretty low. Like, for example, say if I, if I were to beat Big Fish, for example... Let's just say that he's 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 out of that equation on the on the um ten score score group. You still only have a chance maybe one or two people could get to ten. So my initial estimate of what the score that's gonna win is is uh looks like it's tracking pretty pretty correctly. Sinkfield Cup is getting a lot of viewers. Sinkfield Cup is not getting a lot of viewers compared to uh compared to Pog Champs, compared to the early Meltwater events, it's not comparable. Um not at all. I mean, from what I've seen, the official coverage, for the most part, except for when Kaspar of Chess has been on the absolute front page of Twitch, they've been getting about two to maybe 3,000 people. Chess.com's uh, their, their own broadcast, maybe it's about four to 5,000. So, um, I, I mean, honestly, if you're trying to bring more money into the game so that more people can play chess professionally and make a living, it's not going to be classical chess. That's not going to be the future. Um, so, so that's what I would say. Uh, the peak viewers was 12k, yeah, because Kaspar Chess was on the on the absolute front page of Twitch. So what that means, if you go to Twitch.tv, you'll see at the very top there are, they're rotating slots, and Kaspar Chess had the had the main spot. Um, so that's why. That 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 is plain and simple. Yeah, yesterday they had 11k. Like I said, you guys, I I can I'll, I'll literally show you guys what I mean by that. So I'll I'll show you what I mean. What I will show you is specifically if I pull up Twitch.tv. Let's uh, let me change the scene. Uh, maybe this will work better. If I pull up Twitch, you see how there's this rotating thing here. I'm actually on front page too. Apparently, I'm in one of these side slots. You see my face here to the left because Spark Chess is the absolute main front page on Twitch. And what that means is that um, if you go to Twitch.tv, I'm counted right now as a viewer of this uh, stream of this Destiny Two stream, even though I'm not really watching it. If I'm at Twitch.tv at all, though, I count as a viewer. So, so that's 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 what I would say when when you're when you're talking about the viewers, uh, it's a little bit different. All right, so let's let's get back to uh, let's get back to the event um, and keep go going. My game started. Oh, okay, let's, okay, okay. Let's calm down. It's not it's not a big deal. I only I only lost seven seconds, so it's not it's not the end of the world. Made AXT work for the nine months. Um. I think e5 is still supposed to be considered good unless I'm crazy. Uh, I was gonna play knight e8. Okay, so I guess I go h3. Castles was also probably fine. Okay, c5 logical. Can take. This is interesting. I, uh, I mean, problem is I need to win this game, so I can't really play positional here. I think I need to just go for it because if I play positional, I mean, I can get maybe a small edge, but I need I need to be aggressive here. Positional chess is not gonna cut it because a draw is not gonna be good enough. I need to win this game. Let's see what he's going to do. He does take this one. Interesting. Okay, so I take. I have 92. I mean, there are many ways that I can play this. My instinct says to just C3 and Knight of 3, but I'm already getting into a position that I'm not thrilled by because it's turning into some sort of like positional, positional sort of weirdness. I should kick the queen and play like knight d2. Probably that was a bad move. I, I think I think that was probably dubious. 
course, my fa new favorite word. Let's play knight d2. Maybe I castle queenside. I just realized I can... I guess I'll go here. Keep a, keep an eye on the diagonal. I think I'm going to actually castle queenside, which is probably weird, but... Let's see. Probably not right. I mean, it's really kind of... Kind of ballsy. But you know what? I need to win this game at all costs, so, you know, who cares? Who cares? I, I need to be ballsy here and go for it. Because the draw is not going to cut it. So if I lose the game, I lose the game. But I need, I need to, I need to. Whoa! Don't I have Bishop G five here? And G four, Bishop F. Wait, what? Don't I just have G four here? G four here? Knight D four. I just take. I think he blundered. Don't see good continuations. I mean, knight f5, g4, knight d4, I just take, take, take. And I'm up a piece. Okay, so he wants knight d4, logical. Um, I don't know. I don't see it, though. Let's go king b1. Knight d4, I just take. And now I also sidestep, so there are no, no longer any checks either on e2. So like knight of five g4 knight d4 takes takes really is ineffective because it's not even a check anymore. I don't know what he's supposed to do here. I think he's just lost. He goes knight e5. I saw that, but now I just go g4. Takes okay. Of course, if I take, he takes. So I just take the queen. I mean, okay, I assume I just, if I take g6 or not as a question, I think I can just take maybe. His knights are actually very discombobulated here, as is his bishop. Like, everything is kind of hanging by a thread. It's like, it's all very, very icky for black. Okay, I think I'm going to take, oh wait, then he has 92. Wait, okay, I should be careful. Wait, let's just. Hmm. Take, I guess takes, I just take. I think I'm winning here. Oh, he's got he's got tricks though. He finds a trick. So I can obviously I think I should just just take with check and go here, I guess. Go here. I have to be careful here not to blunder something, but I don't think I'm blundering anything. I think his king is too open. His rook d8 is expected. Wait, if I go queen e6, he has bishop c8. I mean, there are actually tricks here that I have to be careful about. Don't tell me that I actually blundered here. This would be a sad way for this to be going. This is unbelievable. I'm actually not sure that I'm winning here. Oh, King It's Unreal. Oh, did I really just throw this? Here. Go here. I'm threatening mate in one. I guess bishop. I mean, I assume I'm winning here somehow. And he has to take, and I go queen f five, and I. Oh, he's got this move too. Oh my god! I just. I'm actually throwing. Legit, are throwing this. I'm legit hard throwing this. And now he's also got a5, which I... Oh, my God. Wow, this is so bad by me. I'm probably not winning anymore, even. So bad. Okay, I, I, I just have to move. Try to draw. I can draw, but I'm not going to win anymore. Incredibly poor. Incredibly poor play by me. Here.
I mean, he's got no time, I guess, but still. Oh, he blunders. Oh my god, he blundered. Omega Lel. Omega Lel. He just blunders. Thank you to Oron Life for this room. I mean, that's so bad. I should have won early. I messed it up, and then he he just gave me the gift of a lifetime. Thank you to Rob Stein for the prime. So bad. That was the second game in a row where I had like I had like plus 20 and I turned it into a mess. I mean, that was unbelievably bad. It was plus 10 when you thought you threw. Wait, at which point? Yeah, it's still winning here, but I mean, this is so ridiculous. I just go, oh, wait, no, rookie six. I don't know. It's, it's weird. Um, I don't know. Whatever. It's a win. I don't really want to think about the game because I, I think it was a very bad game. Is it possible that I played better in St. Louis? Of course I played better in St. Louis. I'm playing, I'm not playing good chess at the moment. Um, but it is what it is, as they say. Okay, what's going on? Wonderful time and fair play. They're or um they're both on seven. You assume Minlay will win just because of time. Takes and rook d5. Yeah, you, you assume Minlay's gotta win this. He, he's a he's a better player in under under serious time pressure. Probably a draw. You're gonna get a draw, I think. Check, check, check. Okay, rook d5 now and rook g5. Okay. Rook e6, maybe? Yeah, okay. Yeah, this, this this probably will be a draw. I don't know what rook, rook f1 was. That was a very bad move by Minlay. Rook b7, of course. King e5, of course. King c2, king b2, rook b4 should be a draw. Rook h4. G4, I guess. Still should be a draw, but okay, game ends in a draw, all right. Okay, what are the standings? Okay, four of us on eight out of nine. So this is really a tight group again. Um they get a chicken rook for the two months. Thank you so much to chicken rook. Chicken rook. Appreciate it. Yeah, eight out of eight out of nine, you guys. I have eight out of nine, not eight out of ten. Um, thank you to Valerie for the two months. Thanks so much to Valerie. Appreciate it. All right. So, I mean, we're, we're in the running. Two more wins and we go house shopping. Yeah, we're trying. But yeah, we're, we're, we're playing well. I mean, overall, I guess you could say, I don't know. I don't know if I'm playing great. Oh, well, I drop. I don't play another player on eight points. That's interesting. Hmm. A very strange pairing here. But the good thing is, Andrekin has half a point less than me, so he needs to win here. But he might play the meta against me and just be solid. Uh, Which one do I... I don't know which one he... Eh, okay. I think he has to beat me, so I think he has to try. That's the meta I'm going to do. I'm going to be solid because I think he has half point less, and a draw does not help him at all here. It's still seven hundred fifty dollars for his pro uh, bishop e two. Go here and a five, I guess. I think queen c eight is still the best move, as far as I recall. I know knight e four is always a move here. Um, I think I take and go queen b seven. And I can obviously trade. I think rook a7 is still a decent move, but I'm just going to trade to avoid any weirdness. Just go. I guess, I mean, rook c8 is fine. Maybe bishop b8. You can always play b5 if I want to as well. Very, very, very dry position. I'm neck and neck with ninja for people watching. Yeah, I mean, okay, but come on. Ninja, ninja is 25 million more reasons to uh, to not care. Okay, let's go bishop d8, bishop c7. Um, let's see. I think I should play... Uh, I can also do something weird, maybe. But I think I'm just going to be super stable, solid here with bishop... I think I'm going to go b5 now. Yeah, 
Ja. Yes. Okay, it goes F4, which I really... I don't know. I don't like that move. Maybe it's a good move, but I kind of really don't like that move. So I'm going to go knight e4. Okay. Knight e5, knight f6, and knight e5 is kind of unclear here. Operator. Okay, does it? I'm going to go knight f knight e5. Not actually sure about this position anymore for Andre, and I think this is very dangerous potentially for White. I think I can just go knight e5 now, and like I've got knight c3 with a fork, and this is getting very scary, I think, for White. Oh, wait, did I blunder maybe? No, I didn't, because I can take knight e7, king f8. For a second, I thought I might have blundered. Okay, it goes there, but I mean, this looks very bad for white. I think, I mean, I think I'm significantly better now. Let's go rook a4. This pawn is going to become very dangerous in a second. Okay, it goes there. I think I just, I mean, I have g5, but I'm just going to go f5 here. Knight d1. I can play rook a8, I guess. Trying to go knight c3. I do have g5 at some moment. I don't know. Maybe I can't win this. But this feels very bad for white. I mean, somehow this just doesn't look right. I'm going to go here and queen d5 maybe. Although I did blunder that, which I shouldn't have allowed. That was a big mistake by me, potentially. Ugh. I guess I'll go here. If I get the pawn to a2, maybe I can win this. But I think I misplayed this. I should have been winning here. Why did I why did I why did I go rook eight? I should have just gone queen a7. That was so bad of me. Yeah, it goes b5, and now I think it's just a draw. It's just a draw. That was very, very bad by me. I guess, I mean, a draw is not the end of the world, I suppose, but... Uh, very disappointing. I'm gonna try something. I mean, I don't think I can lose this. Oh, it's see if queen a5 or something even. It does have queen a5, which I actually didn't realize was a move. We might end up in a two queen end game here. What am I doing actually? Wait, I need to think for a second. I'm actually kind of trying to lose this somehow. What am I doing? Wait. Wait, what am I doing? C5, C6, Queen D6. What am I doing? Go here. Wait, I can't go to E. Wait. Oh, I, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, yeah. I just threw. Unbelievable. <sighs> I just threw. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. It's not. It's just not meant to be. I mean, I'm just throwing hard. I was completely winning this game, too. I just threw that so badly. 
I don't even know what I was doing. I could have gone queen d5 even. It was still a draw. Yeah, queen d5 is an easy draw. I don't know what I was doing. Basically, in this position after f5, I mean, I was just completely winning here. And then I just, I got careless for one move, and I just didn't do the right things. Like, right here, even queen a7 is still a very, it's still an easy draw. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I, it's really sad to lose this one, because, like, this was probably one of the best games I played on the day. Versus plenty of other games where I didn't play well. But it happens. It happens. Yeah. If I play king h, if I play queen c6, no, actually, the thing is, I let it, like, even... Why did I just take with, actually, why did I take with a pawn here? This my initial idea was to take with a pawn, and I didn't take with the pawn here either. Yeah, very strange. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I guess considering the number of bad positions I salvaged already, I shouldn't, I can't really complain, but it's annoying because this was, this was definitely a game I should have won. I was much better, if not outright winning after F5. Let me just see the, see the analysis. Um, yeah, like right here, I mean, it's, okay, now it's not, now it's not clear cut, but like, yeah, I mean, this is like minus one. This was very, very bad. Very bad. My, is my career over? Yeah, good one. I know you're trying to tilt me, but it happens. It's just frustrating. It's frustrating that the good game I played is the one that I lose, whereas the bad ones were the ones that I won. But that's eh, life. Not a big deal. Um, karma, I mean, at times, but yeah, this this was just bad. I just, I didn't actually, the problem is I never really sensed any danger. Like, I should never have gone H6 here. I should have just made the draw with, um, with queen A7, but I was already like, kind of like, okay, well, if he takes, takes D5. Sorry, not takes ed5 queen e5 it's like eh why do i want to do something like this it was just yeah bad 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 game on the bright side you're best puzzle rush yeah i mean i'm it's just it's kind of frustrating because if i look at the games like the two games i lost were both games that i should not have lost um parham i never should have lost that game and this one i definitely shouldn't have lost but the two games that i was winning there were two games i won against big fish and and um and zerk which were also not not really spectacular moments of, of perfection but yeah like even here i can just trade on a1 and it's a draw okay one queen one queen d5 um queen d5 also an easy draw very very bad thank you selling toy for the seven thank you to biggest dickest for the prime thank you the mistrustful for the 10 appreciate it that was a draw though at the end look at the d4 pawn what do you mean it was a draw where is it a draw yeah i'm just it's frustrating because that was not a game oh wait round is still playing aha uh -huh, this one is still going uh yeah biggest what yes biggest dickus is there something funny with that name right thank you for that thank you for monty python no In the final position if i take on d4 it's queen g8 checkmate it doesn't work i also didn't see queen f7 which is why i went into that What am I eating? I'm just eating some rice with some chicken. Mm. Yeah, it is TS on food. Yeah. Fried chicken? No, no fried chicken. A bond cloud? I might play a bond cloud if I get white. Yeah. Am I bulking? Actually, yeah, I am. I've, I'm going to the gym like every day nowadays. So I, I am kind of bulking a little bit. This is close. Okay, Rick D8. This is close to a... um. How many moves have they played? I guess they've played what? Like, um, played quite a few moves at this point. Okay, Bishop F5, King D2, of course. Oh, Rook H2. Uh... Uh... Uh, this is close to losing. This might still be a draw, but this is close to losing. You probably just wait. Wait, but now there's rook c2. No, now this is winning. This is winning for white. Bishop f3. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess now I can't feel bad. Imagine if you're round at, can you lose this game? Think about it from that perspective. I'm round at, this, this feels a lot worse than my loss. Thought you were trying to cut? Uh, yeah, but I, I felt like lifting, because I can always do cardio whenever I want to. Okay, let's play E4. I'm going to play a Bond Cloud, you guys. Let's have some fun. Let's have this on a high note.
and it's on a high note. Come on. Do I pre-move it or not? I could pre-move it, I guess, to be saucy. I'm not going to, though. If he doesn't play Sicilian, though... Yeah, he does. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's have some fun. Pre-move would have been very spicy. Go Queen C2. Because the thing is, he is streaming too, I believe. Oh, let's end on a high note. I see what you did there. True. Very true. Yeah. So here, maybe Bishop H3, maybe just standard development. I think I'll play F3, consolidate my center here. Straight some juicers. Disrespecting IMs. There's nothing on the line anymore. The tournament's over. I mean, uh, I don't want to go H4. Let's just go here, maybe 92. Besides, psychologically, there's a lot of pressure on Mr. Min Lei now. Because now it's like, you can't lose the bond cloud. Like, that's just never acceptable. I had 92, but I was worried about Queen H3. That's why I didn't do it. Okay, now I'll go 92. Okay, he's being very, uh, very technically smooth about this. Let's go here, maybe Bishop E3. Can play knight e3, maybe. I don't love it. Uh, bishop g5 is a move. Because if takes, I can just take. Okay, that's a weird move, though. I thought I could take. I mean, basically, the, the moral of the story is in the bond cloud. If you can survive the opening up to a certain point, it should be fine. Oh, does he have knight before? Oh, he's got knight before or something. Yikes. Knight before 93, maybe, though. Oh, he's also got rook d2, which I just forgot all about. Yeah. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. Oh my gosh. He had rook d2, which was GG. Okay. Now, however, now, however, it's game. Oh my gosh. I'm so lucky. Now, however, it's game on. It's game on again. Now it's game on. Okay. It's game on. I'm sure he realizes now. He's got to realize. He's got to be like, oh my. He's like, I, I'm, I don't have a stream open, but I'm sure he's like, oh my God. What did I just do? Because rook d2 was GG, like in two seconds. That was just game over. Also, if rook d2 now, I can even take getting interesting i might have some hopes here no but minlay minlay of course should be a gm yeah that's, that's he's no joke hmm Yeah, this is this is not clear at all now. Oh, he found knight before. That's a good move. Mm. That's actually maybe a GG type move. I'm probably just lost now. It was good while it lasted, but was not meant to be. Um, probably can't salvage this. Maybe I can take and go queen c1. Let me think for a second. See if there's some way I can find a trick. Looking to see if there are any tricks here. But I don't really see them. I guess I take and go rook d1. If I can get a knight to d5, I have some chances, maybe. Oh, is it rook d3? No. Go here. I need to get the knight to d5, basically. I don't know why I played h5, because now I'm going to be able to guard the pawn, maybe. Let's go b4. I can obviously go knight e3 again. I don't really want to. Um, maybe I'll just play h4. Consolidate, consolidate my king side here. 
We'll play. Oh, he wants F5. Okay, now I just do this. Oh, but now I gave him Rook F6. And now I just I put the piece on the wrong squares. Ah, uh, now I just lose. There must be a way for him to just win here on the spot. Oh well, it's worth it's worth the uh it's worth the memes. It's all fun and games until the memes fail. Um, I think yeah, this just lost. I just have nothing. Probably I shouldn't have done this. Probably I could have saved like 15 rating points, but not really a big deal at any rate. Let's go here. Maybe he'll miss a check. He's not gonna miss a check. Yeah, he'll he'll see it. Yeah. Yeah, he'll see it. Yeah, I I, I never really had a chance, probably. Maybe I had a chance. Like right here, maybe I could have gone ninety three, but I I think after bishop g five, there's just nothing I could really do. Just it just wasn't meant to be. Maybe here, nah. After queen c five, it's just bad. Even 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 knight. Once he saw knight before, there's nothing I could do. Although he let me get a chance right here, right here. If I had gone ninety three, it would have been interesting to see if if I would have lost the second game because I would have gotten the knight back to d five and had some small chances uh, to maybe draw the game. But that's what it is. They were ignore for the foremost. Not really a big deal. Again, I wasn't in the running for anything, so that's just how it goes. Uh, you can't win them all, and um, and yeah, that's life. All right, you guys. I'm probably gonna take a short break, and then I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna move on from chess. So um, I think that's that's gonna be pretty good for right now. It looks like match fixing. Um, what do you mean by match fixing? Not neither of us were in the running for prizes, so I don't really see how it matters. Oh, I guess actually I see what you're saying. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, actually, I had a real chance. Oh, I didn't realize I had a real chance. At, oh, now I feel stupid. I didn't. I didn't actually look at the table going to the last round. That's um. Actually, now I feel very stupid. I didn't realize that I had a chance at prizes. Oh, I feel really stupid now. I didn't realize I was actually in the running for for like second and third. Okay, I feel really stupid. Um. All right, guys, I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take um. I'm gonna take a short break. Go use the restroom. Come back, and then we're gonna keep moving along. So I'll be back in a second. 